What is up, I Love Basketball TV, it's Coach Ryan Rizuki, and today I'm gonna to help you to become a better shooter in real games. Let's get to it. So the first thing that we have to understand when getting into our shot is having correct and perfect footwork. As a right-handed player, if you're going straight downhill, no directions, you're normally gonna go left, right, catch it, knock it down. You can also come into this one, boom, hop, knock it down, however, when you do that, and you see, even though I'm talking about a hop, we're not talking about going up, we're talking about going down. Because you wanna catch the ball when you're low. So I wanna catch it, the ball low and the hips low always. You always hear me talk about ball low, hips low together because that will help you to transfer your energy to build more range, more consistency as well with your shot. And make sure that you have good quality arc and you're not shooting a flat jumper. So whether I go right, or sorry, left, right, or hop into it, ball low, hips low, ball high, hips high, we'll knock that down really, really easy and efficiently. Now, if you're not going downhill, you're not coming as a trailer or you're not running towards the basket, whether it's from the corners or the wings or the top, but instead you're coming off a curl because you got a screen or you got a handoff. Now we wanna focus on our inside outside footwork. So it can't just be left, right every time. I wanna be here, left, right coming this way, but it makes no sense to go left, right coming the other direction. So we gotta make sure that we have our inside right, left when we catch that ball. So that way we can turn, pivot, square up, and knock down our shots. So now we're talking about going downhill, catch and shoot off either a little hop or drop, left, right, or coming off a curl, one, two, one, two. So these are the easy ones right now, and we'll focus on these. What you should be doing is coming to these, I'm gonna go ahead and self toss, one, two, knock down, or self toss, hop, knock down. We're gonna go ahead and make 10 of these in a row before we move on. So for today's video, I'm gonna to aim to make three in a row from here. What you're gonna do is self-toss. You can either go one, two, or get into that little drop, but we wanna make sure ball low, hips low, and you're aiming to make 10 straight. So you get, give yourself a little self-toss. You can do this from really close. You can do this from mid-range. You can do it from three. Self-toss, catch and shoot. I'm preferring left, right, but you can also get into that little drop and then lift in your shots. 10 straight, close, midi, four, any of the above is okay, and then we'll move on to our curls. So for our curls, you can put down anything, a chair, water bottle, anything that you have there that can simulate either your screen or receiving a handoff if you wanna put the ball down and come off a handoff. Any of the above is okay. But as you come into this shot, we're moving from the wing, we're coming in left, right, knock down, right? Or you can self toss it and go left, right. But I'm left and you can see that turn, pivot, square, and now I can shoot this one square to the basket. When I'm going the other way, I'm coming in this direction, I wanna make sure that I'm going right, left, and shoot that one. We're gonna make 10 in a row. If you wanna make 10 in a row alternating, that's a great idea to do as well. If you wanna make 10 this way and then 10 this way, that's also a fantastic idea. I just love when players are focused on mastery. So if you wanna make 10 alternating, great idea. You wanna make 10 this way and then this way, also a good idea to work on this curl shot. And then we'll move on to the next one. So now we're coming off another one of the most common shots off the screen. This is called a pin down or a down screen. But essentially we're starting here at the block. We're gonna throw that ball out. I wanna get into a quick, boom, little hop turn right here sort of. So you can either push off the right leg, the left leg, however you wanna get into this quick shot. But I wanna make sure that I'm not catching the ball too early. So if I catch the ball and then try to do all these extra steps, that's gonna be a travel. So I'm not gonna actually catch the basketball and have full possession of it until my feet are set. So now I'm here, boom. You can see how I'm a little, little 180 turn to get my feet set. And I'll need to be able to be low so I'm not falling away. If I catch the ball standing up, I'm gonna fall back, I'm gonna fade away, I'm not gonna be on balance. But if I catch the ball here, boom. Now I'm on balance, I can get into my shot and my feet squared up, my feet wide base, my hips low when I caught the ball and shoot that basketball straight to the hoop with no issues, no concerns. So this one, a little bit tougher because you're moving away from the basket. However, we're gonna do this one close Boom, shot, we'll make 10 in a row from here. If you can do that, we'll do the same thing from there, and then we'll do the same thing on the other side. So that gives you 40 makes from here, from here, from there, and from there as well. 10 in a row, 10 in a row, 10 in a row, 10 in a row before you move on. If 10 is too difficult, aim to make 10 without missing two in a row. But you wanna get comfortable turning over either shoulder, this way, or coming the other way. You can curl this one like you did before. It's just really hard to pivot fast enough into the shot instead of just getting into that 
hot, especially because you're coming so far away. It's almost a 180 into this one. So let's focus on this one and master this one. So our second to last options here, kind of work in both directions. These are our lift and our drift, also known as a shakeup. So my lift means that I start in the corner or the short corner, and as somebody drives in a direction, I'm gonna be lifting up to either fill them or occupy open space. So from the corner to the wing, this is called a lift. You, normally this is done in a bit of a shuffle. And why this is done in a shuffle is so that way you can stay squared. You can do it off a curl, and there's no problem with that, but you can also do it off a shuffle. So let me kind of show you both examples here. But let's say that somebody has the basketball, top of the key, and they start driving away from me. So now I need to fill the open space because this is too far of a pass for them to pass it all the way from the other wing to my corner. So as they drive away, I can shuffle up and be ready to shoot. So if they pivot back, I'm catch, I'm shoot, I can knock that down. My feet are set, my hips are low, I'm ready to catch it and explode, catch and shoot it. I have all my scoring options available to me. Now if they're moving too fast or I need to occupy my space quicker, I can also just run up to this space and then catch the ball and be low on that little curl right there because I'm not coming into a 180, so I can just left, right, plant into that shot. Or if I need to catch it off a drop, I can also drop my hips into that catch and shoot. So this is our lift, also known as a shakeup. Now you can also drift down. If someone's driving in my direction, I don't want them to drive to that block and have to 360 reverse pivot, jump pass back to the wing. So instead I want to stay in the line of sight of our shooter or our, our ball handler. They drive down to that block here on my side, I'm gonna either shuffle like we talked about to stay in their line of sight, catch it and shoot it, or I can just sprint down and get out of the way, making sure that they can see me. So I can sprint and right, left, inside, outside, plant, one, two, catch and shoot, or drop, one, two, quickly catch the ball, shoot the basketball. Now the last set of footwork that you need to master is gonna be your back pedal. You see Ray Allen hit this back pedal all the time and he's one of the best at it, but a lot of good players get into this back pedal, especially in today's age, trying to knock down those threes. So let's say that I had to cut to the basket or somebody stopped me or I'm in this space and someone's driving and I don't want to continue cutting because I'm going to be in the way. So instead, I'll have to backpedal. So I'm here, I'm backpedaling, I catch the ball, I'm low, I'm up in my shot. Many, many reasons why you need a backpedal or you're at the block and someone drives and you backpedal the short corner. So where I want you working on this one the most is you're going to start right there in the paint. You're going to self, self sorry, no, you're not going to self toss, but you will throw it either backwards or you'll have a teammate throw it. But I want you working on backpedal, catch and shoot. You can throw it back, back pedal, catch and shoot. Work on your range on this one, but focusing on that back pedal and your catch and shoot. You can do this there, down here towards the short corner, up here towards the mid post or the wing or the deep corner where you're gonna see it the most, coming off of a fade action where you're moving away, and then one, two, pop, similar to how you would before, but getting really, really comfortable moving away from the basketball or moving to the basketball, moving away from the rim or moving to the rim. No matter where you're moving, whether it's to the rim, away from the rim, towards the ball, away from the ball, you always have to make sure that your hips are low. You can quickly get into your catch, whether you're dropping or one, two, lock in on the rim, focus on the rim, and then knock down those shots. We hope you enjoyed today's video, so make sure to hit that thumbs up button if you did, and subscribe as we're dropping new videos every single week. So make sure you hit that notification bell. And if you hit the link and the pinned comment down below, it's gonna give you access to our new shooting program. So make sure that you go get that one, as it's an incredible program, and it's gonna help you a ton. We'll catch you guys in the next video. Wow.